Hi, this video is here to help you with calculating angles in regular polygons. A polygon is a two-dimensional shape with three or more straight sides which make an enclosed space. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, the polygon has five sides. It's called a pentagon. The five sides are of equal length, which means it's a regular polygon. In regular polygons, each interior angle is also equal. Remember, interior angles are the angles inside the shape. To calculate the total interior angles inside this pentagon, we can partition the shape into three triangles. The sum of the angles in a triangle are equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the interior angles in a regular pentagon will be 180 add 180 add 180 which is equal to 540 degrees. Here is another example. The polygon here has six equal sides, which means it's a regular hexagon. It can be partitioned into four separate triangles. The sum of the internal angles of each triangle are 180 degrees. The sum of the internal angles of the regular hexagon are 180 add 180 add 180 add 180 which is equal to 720 degrees. Have you spotted any patterns? That's right. The number of triangles a polygon can be split into is two fewer than the number of sides. Let's take a closer look. A pentagon has five sides, so five subtract two is equal to three, which is the number of triangles the pentagon can be divided into. A hexagon has six sides, so 6 subtract 2 is equal to 4, which is the number of triangles a hexagon can be divided into. Over to you now. Can you match the polygon to the sum of its internal angles? The polygons have been partitioned into triangles to help. Pause the screen while you match up the shapes. All finished? Let's take a look at the answers. Remember, you can pause the screen if you need a little bit longer to look at the shapes. A heptagon has seven sides. The total internal angles are 900 degrees. An octagon has eight sides. The total internal angles are 1080 degrees. A pentagon has five sides. The total internal angles are 540 degrees. The pattern we spotted earlier has continued. Remember, the number of triangles the polygon can be split into is two fewer than the number of sides. The heptagon has seven sides. It can be split into five triangles. The octagon has eight sides, so it can be split into six triangles. Let's move on. We can use our knowledge of interior angles in regular polygons to calculate the exterior angles. These are the angles outside the shape. In this example, angle X is an exterior angle. To calculate angle X, we need to also calculate angle Y. The total of the interior angles in a regular hexagon will be equal to 720 degrees, as the polygon can be partitioned into four triangles. There are six angles in a regular hexagon, which are all equal as it's a regular polygon. Therefore, to calculate angle Y, we can divide 720 degrees by 6. This gives us 120 degrees. Angle Y is 120 degrees. Angle X and angle Y are on a straight line. Remember that angles on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees. To calculate angle X, we can subtract angle Y, 120 degrees, from 180 degrees. This is equal to 60 degrees. The exterior angle of a hexagon, angle X, is equal to 60 degrees. Here is another example. A regular pentagon has been joined to an isosceles triangle. Remember, an isosceles triangle has two equal angles, so we can expect angle X and angle Y to be equal. To calculate angle X and angle Y, we need to calculate the interior angles in the pentagon. The pentagon can be partitioned into three triangles. Angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees, 
So 180 degrees add 180 degrees add 180 degrees is equal to 540 degrees. We then need to divide 540 degrees by 5, as there are 5 equal angles in the pentagon. This means that each interior angle is equal to 108 degrees. To calculate angle X and angle Y, we can subtract 108 from 180 degrees, as angles on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees. This means that angle X and angle Y are both at 72 degrees. Let's recap our learning so far. Here are three regular polygons, with three external angles to calculate, X, Y and Z. It's over to you again. Can you use your knowledge of angles in regular polygons to calculate the exterior angles? One of these polygons will be different to the others, and it's your job to find the odd one out. Remember that angles on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees. Pause the video here while you calculate all the missing angles. All finished? Well done. Let's take a look at the answers. To calculate angle X, we need to calculate the interior angles of the regular hexagon. There are four triangles inside the regular hexagon, which means the interior angles of the hexagon must equal 720 degrees. To calculate one interior angle, we need to divide 720 degrees by 6. Each interior angle in this regular hexagon is 120 degrees. To calculate angle X, we'll need to subtract 120 degrees from 180 degrees, the total of the angles on the straight line. This equals 60 degrees. Angle Y is an exterior angle of exactly the same polygon as angle X, so it also equals 60 degrees. To calculate the final exterior angle, angle Z, we need to calculate the interior angles of the regular pentagon. The regular pentagon can be partitioned into three triangles. This means the total of the interior angles inside the regular pentagon is 540 degrees. To calculate the interior angle, we need to divide 540 degrees by 5, which means that each interior angle is 108 degrees. We then need to subtract 108 degrees from 180 degrees, the total of the angles on the straight line. This means that angle Z is equal to 72 degrees. The shape is the odd one out, as it has a different exterior angle to the other two polygons. Now let's see if we can apply our knowledge of angles in a regular polygon to a challenge question. Felix, Joseph and Abby are thinking of a regular polygon. They each give a clue about the shape. Felix says, the polygon can be partitioned into four triangles. Joseph says, the sum of the interior angles is more than 540 degrees, but less than 900 degrees. Abby says, each interior angle is 120 degrees. Use the clues to decide the polygon which they're describing. Pause the video here to work out your answer. Have you finished? Let's take a look at the answer together. A polygon which can be partitioned into four triangles is a hexagon. The sum of the six interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees, which is more than 540 degrees, but less than 900 degrees. To calculate one interior angle of a hexagon, divide the total of the interior angles, 720 degrees, by six. Each interior angle in a regular hexagon will be 120 degrees. So the polygon the children are describing is a hexagon. I hope this has helped you to calculate the angles in a regular polygon. If you're looking for more math help, then we've got lots more videos just like this over on the Twinkle website.